This is Chris and Charlie of Two Heels in a Face Wrestling Podcast, recording for DivaDirt.com and the DivaDirt.com viewers and fans. We are on the line with Brandy Rhodes. Brandy, how's it going? I'm good. How are you guys? Doing well. Thanks for uh, for joining us. Yes, thanks Thanks for being here. So uh, you've been very busy this year, Brandy. I think that's an understatement. And uh, working on many projects, right? Women of Honor, uh, recording for... The new reality TV show, show Wags Atlanta, coming uh, debuting in 2018. Um, you have your own blog as well. Are there any other projects that I'm missing or uh, that you wanted to note? <laughs> oh, man. Well, kind of, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So it kind of in, in, in conjunction with my blog, um, I'm also going to be style blogging um, with one of the publications, um, one of the major publications, entertainment public, ah, excuse me, publications um, <laughs> coming up in January as well. So that'll start the first week of January. So let's just add one more crazy thing to my <laughs> list to see how fast my head can spin this year. Right. I'm sure that's what you're used to. And that's the way you like it though. So I'm sure, you, I'm sure you'll be able to handle it. So, and as far as, a summary of 2017 we have some questions that we really just wanted to ask and uh just get get answers to i guess the first one being um in terms of your blog uh when thinking of what to write about or your content strategy how do you decide how what, where does that final decision come from because it seems like you write a lot about about a bunch of different cool things uh but what kind of gives you the final go ahead uh, okay i want to write about this you know the blog i kind of go off of inspiration i mean obviously a lot of the style content is pretty set up because you know i have certain looks that i want to shoot and i know when i want to shoot them based on you know the where i'm at where in the united states or the globe that i'm at um or what season it is and so on and so forth, so forth. but yeah. when it comes to the pieces that are more personal um those it's really funny. I will sit on a piece for months and not put it out and I'll keep editing it and I will keep sending it. I have like my right. trusted groups of folks that I send things to, to see like, how do you, you know, what do you think? What do you think? What's the timing on this? Um, mm -hmm. so it could be anything from, I could do it that day and set it out, or it could be a piece that, you know, it takes me two or three months to get out, which is crazy, but <laughs> that's kind of <laughs> how I do it. I just do it based on feeling, um, and, and, you know, when I feel the piece is fully ready to go, then I send it out. Right. That makes sense. You want to be timely and relevant to what's going on. Um, okay. Let's shift to really quick to women of honor and being in the ring. Um, you've had a hard year of training, right? What has been the most challenging part of all the training uh, being just being a wrestler in general? What's, what would you say is most difficult for you? Um, for me, the most challenging thing is, now that I'm in Atlanta, finding women to train with. Um, okay. oh, there are okay. not a lot that are available to train with. So most of the time when I'm training, I'm training with men. Um, my husband a lot of times, um, but a lot of times I, I train at QT Marshall School. So whoever he has available is who I will train with. And a lot of times right. it's guys. So um, meeting females out here and being able to, you know, coordinate with them and get in the ring with them is the hardest part because you know as fun as it is to wrestle around with guys um it's a big difference <laughs> than it yeah. is to be with women in the ring so um that is my current challenge trying to get more women to come and you know roll around with me <laughs> okay right and one of the misconceptions that i often hear is that you just recently started training but from what I've I've read and i think i heard in, in one of your uh, videos is that you've actually been training for a few years now, like you were uh, part of FCW training at that point. Am I, am I wrong or right on that? Um, true and false. Um, so the truth part is, yes, uh, I was part of FCW. I was also a part of NXT um, on the wrestling side for a bit too. The false part is for a bit. So um, <laughs> I think I was in F FCW for maybe two weeks before I got called up to the road. So then, you know, training became very intermittent and at that point it needed to be constant in order for me to learn anything i mean i was i was just 
barely getting into wrestling. So I don't count that that much. I mean, it, okay. it did happen, but that stuff, um, none of it was retained. <laughs> it was just too quick of a period of time for that. Um, so then I do count the NXT days of training because I spent, um, I, I would say five or six months um, on their training schedule. But in that time, I started getting integrated into being back on the road. And then, okay. so then there were weeks where it was like, oh, I would train one or two days and then not again for an, another week, you know? So, um, so yeah, it's, it's true and false that I have okay. bring experience. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you do have is going to pay off because women, uh, of honor has introduced and ring of honor. They've introduced a a uh, women tournament for their first ever women, women of honor champion. So Chris and I have a little bit of experience with first ever champions being local to Chicago. We were there where an AW's first women champion was crowned. It got to uh, talk to Jessica Havoc about that. So we kind of wanted to get your questions on just how you feel that there is now this prize for you to shoot for. Well, let's just hope that since you talked to Jessica Havoc and she became champion, let's hope that the same trend happens here and that I become <laughs> I a woman of that. honor and champion. I could get behind uh, that. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's very, very exciting. Um, you know, I'm newer to women of honor, but these girls have been waiting over two years now to get this championship. So this um, come, it's very special to be a part of this group and to be here for it. I know a lot of the girls were very misty eyed when um, it was being mm. presented at final battle. And it was just very cool. Um, and I, I didn't know if I would, if, if I would ever have this goal to shoot for, because, you know, I kind of put my flag in the sand with women of honor. And at that time there was no championship. So right, <laughs> it was kind right. of like, well, you know, my focus will just be to continue to get better and um, you know, to put the best matches that I can out there. And so now along with that goal is of course I um Smeagol, I want to get my gold ring. So <laughs> I'm okay, really, awesome. nice. really looking forward to the tournament. Um and I, I have been announced as actually in the tournament. I had my qualifying match last week in Philly and I won. So I am in it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Congrats. Yeah. So we have a lot of that information and we're mm -hmm. going to put that in the divadirt.com article as well. Uh so you the listener, viewer, et cetera, go check all of that out. Yes, Brandy's in the tournament. Okay. In terms of the summary of 2017, could you sum up or tell us about your favorite highlight or moment or your proudest moment of this year since you've been doing so much? It might be hard to pinpoint, but is there one that sticks out to you? Oh, man. You know, it, there is, really is so much because even between wrestling and the non-wrestling world, so much has happened for me. But um, one moment I would have to say that stood out as extremely special to me was my first match with Women of Honor um, uh, in the Carolinas. It was uh, very nerve-wracking for me to be in that match and, and, you know, coming in still very brand new here as a wrestler. And knowing what I know about, or at the time knew about the ROH audience is that um, they are not really interested in names or celebrity. They are interested in wrestling. And right. if you are not going to come and, and, put it all out there, they're not going to have it. So I was very kind of nervous as to how I would be received by that audience. Um, so, you know, there's always that moment before you walk out where you kind of wonder, oh, are they going to boo me or, <laughs> or, or are they going mm -hmm. to like me? I'm not sure. No. But either way, right. it's a kind of a fleeting thought of, well, either way, I'm coming to do my, my job and this is what I'm going to do. Um, so when I walked out of the curtain, I did not know what we would get. And when the crowd heavily applauded, I was so happy. I was just so happy. And I was wearing my um, dusty inspired gear. And so I was just yep. really excited. It was a great moment for me and getting in the ring. I think that was the first time that I, they were chanting my name. And I was like, wow, yes, this is, this is wonderful. This is what I came to do. This is what I love to do. And thankfully I feel welcome here and well-received. Mm -hmm. So um, that was my probably one of many highlights of 2017. <laughs> That's fantastic. Great. That's great. And we, when we look at 2018, what's to come? Like, what, what is the, what's something that that you're looking forward to the most, or, or a few things, right? Because there's a lot of things that you have your hands on. Right. Um, well, I'm very much looking forward to the Women of Honor Championship Tournament. That's going to be mm -hmm. in 2018. So, looking forward to that and seeing who gets to be the first champion. I'm, I'm really like 
<laughs> I'm hopeful, <laughs> but we'll, we'll yeah, see. We'll see what ring. happens. Um, mm-hmm. um, yeah, and then, uh, of course, WAGS will be premiering in 2018, and it's right around the corner, which is crazy. Um, that was a, a very long-awaited process for, for me and the rest of the cast, so we're excited to see it all come together and, you know, kind of give people a slice of our lives, especially I know, you know, Cody (laughs) is excited too because we had a lot of moments together in filming. So we'll, we'll, it's a lot of good stuff to come, but you know, I'm, I'm also a workhorse that I look past all of that because that to me is, is very close. That's all like right around the corner. So then I have to look past, okay, so what, what's happening after that, which I'm already on it. <laughs> right. Is there is there anything that you could say that uh, you or anything you could do to maybe push yourself or challenge yourself or kind of push yourself out of that comfort zone? Do you feel like you're always doing that by taking on new projects or is there any way you could kind of push yourself into that area to improve on Wait, just uh, anything? Uh, yeah, there, there's always a lot that you can do to um of course, push yourself and and challenge yourself. And I kind of just take everything one thing at a time. Um, You know, there's a lot of stuff, especially in wrestling that I've I've said, you know, oh, these are things that I will never do because it's just not me or I'm not, I'm not able to or whatever. And then the next thing I know, I'm going through a table. And that was definitely (laughs) on the list of things that I I wasn't going to do. Um, But that happened in 2017. And so did me wrestling Joey Ryan and getting thrown on text happened in 2017. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. the, the sky's kind of the limit as far as if I take everything one thing at a time and every story one step at a time, there's really no limit to what you can do. So it's always great to kind of challenge myself in that way and just take everything one thing at a time. Right. Well, there you did wind up on someone's list and Mr. James Ellsworth tweeted out a list and then it had your name on it. Yeah. So. That's personally what yeah. I, I think I'm, you know, we're looking forward to in 2018 to see that come together. But thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. Uh, WAGS, January 3rd, 2018 on the E-Network. Look out for the Women of Honor uh, Championship Tournament, Tournament, which Brandy is in. And we'll uh, get all of your plugs and everything else uh, in the article as well. But thank you for your time and have a great holiday. Awesome. Thank you, guys. You too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going in.